Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bama Salt Water Fishing. Appreciate you for tuning in. If you have not subscribed already to the channel, just want to say don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And we're going to go ahead and get into our video. I'm over here at one of my favorite places. This is JM Tackle over in Orange Beach, Alabama. Just filling up the boat. We're about to go out into the Gulf. It's supposed to be a nice, calm day. Try to get us a, a king mackerel, maybe some bee liners, and maybe shoot some underwater footage. So, how about y'all come join me? And I'll see y'all out on the water. Have anything special rigged up? It's going to pan around with the current and with the line, but let's drop it down. run this Yozuri jerk bait just troll it spinning tackle not ideal for trolling but it works you can get it done it's lightweight and most anybody can operate it and we're just going to troll this little shallow dive Yozuri and maybe pick up with the Nita Spanish King something hopefully can eat this lure so I'm just going to toss it behind the boat pick up to about five six knots at the most and do some trolling so I'm just going to make a backwards cast make sure I can feel my bait running good and it is it's pretty easy to tell when your baits all hung up it'll skip and jump out of the water but I'm gonna loosen that drag up just a hair and we're gonna do some trolling there we go yeah gum we got a good one <laughs> want to get it away from the rig that's a good fish ah 
That's a really nice one. I don't want it to go around that platform. I just saw it come up on top. Tighten that drag just a hair because I leave it pretty loose so you don't get your rod broke or pulled out of the rod holder. I'm gonna pop the boat in neutral since I'm by myself and I'm not high speed trolling or trolling very fast. But I just made a real nice close pass to the platform itself. And something grabbed that Yazuri without hesitation. <laughs> See what it is. I hope it's like a nice Spanish or a decent king, but I haven't seen it yet. So, couldn't tell you yet. So we'll find out together. So I'll take it easy. You never know how good or bad they're hooked. Especially with these trebles, they can pull fairly easy. So we're just gonna kind of bring it up. Might be a king. I don't know. No, is that a cuda? Might be a barracuda. Oh, get up here. This tail looks like a barracuda, but its body looks like a king. Yeah, that's a cuda. That's cool. <laughs> that is neat. Ah. I was trying to get my boga grips, but uh, I don't like messing with them toothy jokers, but at least we got it back to the boat and that fish was able to go back and survive. So those barracudas have some insane teeth. I was trying to get them up here to show you, but eh, you do what you can do. So look at that, that was a brand new Yozuri. Now it has some experience. That leader's still good, line's still good. Let's get that back out and do some more trolling. All right, literally just making a cast backwards. That's as far as it's behind the boat probably like 40 yards at the most we're gonna keep on making a pass that was actually my second go around around the rig so it didn't take long so i have these mackerel tree rigs that we're going to be pulling and trolling slowly along the beach it's just a little straw rig tied up in tandem with a smaller clark spoon down below this one's a size zero they make them in different sizes they all seem to work great. So four ounce trolling lead will be just fine. Just an inline sinker, you tie your line straight to it. It's got a little clip here where we're gonna clip on our bait. So we're gonna take the swivel from our lure and clip it onto the clip on the trolling lead. And then, like I said, it's just a bunch of little straws in tandem. I buy them pre-made, it's just a lot easier. And then on the end, it comes with another clip and that's where this small spoon comes in handy. So attach that spoon to the end. And we have a simple setup that's usually pretty effective. Hopefully we can get some fish. This isn't something that you have to go very fast for, usually a few miles an hour. Simple as that. I actually have a fish on. Pretty sure. Yeah, I do. I stopped the boat because I am by myself. So usually when you're trolling, you want to keep the boat in gear. Little Spanish. Cool. That actually worked out. See, in Alabama, there's no size limit for Spanish mackerel, but I kind of make my own discretion on them. This one's a little small, but you could get some meat off of them, but I am gonna let this one go. So it's not bleeding, it's in good shape. We're gonna let it go without touching it. There you go, buddy. And he swims off. Cool, target species. Shows you how well these things work. Even in this dirty water, these fish are still here. <laughs> That's neat. But we're gonna get our bait back out. There's the banner plane. Dock seafood. <laughs> I actually like dock seafood. Their food is absolutely amazing. And I don't get paid to say that. They do offer military discount for veterans in the military. So just letting you know. So they're awesome. Their food's great. If you're watching one of my other videos, it's actually the place that we took our mangrove snapper and bee liners and for dinner, they cooked it right up. All right, we have another fish on. Let's see here. Looks like it's on the spoon. So the very last one. Smaller Spanish again. That's cool. Check that out. Beautiful fish. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now in Alabama, you're allowed 15 a person with no minimum size limit. 
Alrighty, so the bite is very bad because of, like I said, the grass and dirty waters. Man, it is beautiful, but hot. And I'm back home. I'm gonna close out this video. I really wanted to drop the camera down at the rig that I normally fish a lot. That actually has a bunch of snapper, jacks, and a few other fish on them. But the water clarity down this side, Fort Morgan, is pretty bad from all the rain. So, I had to go find some clearer water, and it seemed like there was no snapper on that rig. So I had even chummed, and I did a bunch of stuff. I was out there a while that I just didn't include in the footage because it would be boring. So, but I appreciate y'all for watching. This was a pretty cool video, just some sporadic fishing trips I did in between the weather like we've been having. Don't forget to go smash that subscribe button if you liked this content and wanna see some more. It's awesome seeing the channel grow as always. We'll see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. I wanna thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us, and we'll see you later.